Hello, Jess, you can hear back from our LEGO Star Wars 2015 set review. Today we're reviewing set number 75081. It's called the T-16 Skyhopper. It has 247 pieces, two minifigures, and retails for $25 in the United States. Another one of those sets I got from Toys R Us.com. Now let's take a look at the packaging. And here is the box for a set. It has a $20 box design, which came out pretty cool. And you got the back right there. And also... You got this little instruction booklet, which has a minifigure checklist and a little advertisement for Star Wars Rebels. And here's the Tusken Raider. This is the first time we've gotten a Tusken Raider in 13 years. The last time we got him was in 2002, and this is a 2015 set release, so you could do the math. Just crazy that we've had to wait this long to get such a, I guess, kind of a key part of A New Hope. They didn't play a huge role, but, you know, they were in there. And I do have the old version. I wish I found the head, but you could just compare it to see how much of an update the torso is. So it's very, very welcome as an update. So that's it. I love the nice new molded head as well because, like I said, the old one, I wish I could find the head, but it had just a 2D printing on a regular minifigure head, and it looked really creepy. While this one still looks creepy, at least it's accurate to the movie with the eyes that pop out. Very, very cool. He also includes this little weapon right here, which is nothing special, except for this piece right here, which if you notice, it's the ice cream cone piece in a black color. So that's exclusive to the set in that color, at least so far for 2015. And here is the Skyhopper pilot. He doesn't really appear in any of the movies from my understanding, at least for the original trilogy, I barely remember the prequels. And you can see his torso print has nice front and back printing as well as his helmet, which has some nice printing on the top. Very detailed for a character that's kind of a derivative work. And you can see his front face printing and his back face printing, which is pretty cool. He also comes with a little pistol right here. And here's the Skyhopper itself. It's a pretty big vehicle for a $25 set. And these are used, I believe, in Tatooine, or at least Luke had one, uh, but they didn't really show it in the movie. They did show that he was playing with a toy, I believe, and you can see here's the side. There's some stickers on the side right here and on the little windscreens, which are a very nice piece. And now let's take a close-up of the vehicle. And so here's a closer look at the Skyhopper vehicle itself. Before we get to that, I just wanted to show that they do include this one rat in the set, which I guess is supposed to represent a womp rat, which are kind of native to Tatooine. Uh, which I guess is the setting of this set, just judging by the box and the inclusion of a Tusken Raider. But it doesn't really look like a Womp Rat from the movie because it would have to require a new mold, which I wish they would have included a new mold just to include a Womp Rat. Uh, but they just kind of use the same old rat mold that we've been getting for a while from LEGO. Anyways, let's take a look at the vehicle. So you got some stickers. You got a sticker on the side right there and right here on this window panel. And the window panel itself is actually a really rare piece because we've never gotten this window panel piece, this hexagonal one, in, uh, in, in that trans black color. So that's very welcomed, especially for people who build ships like me and a lot of people online. And you could actually lift open this side to reveal the inside where you could fit your little pilot right there, which I already did. All you have to do is sit him down and he has some space on the front right there. But I also wanted to kind of show inside there's this little sticker um, for a control panel, which looks pretty neat. It may be a little bit too small for scale, but other than that, it's a pretty cool sticker. Um, and that's on a two, uh, a double cheese slip. And also inside there's this little cargo box right here, which you could fit the pilot's little revolver in. Where's blaster? That's pretty neat. And you just kind of fit that back in the middle right there. And you could easily just close this up and move the little window panel like that so it kind of covers it. And on the back, you just got this little engine. And on both sides, you could also flap the wings up and down if you want. This wing just came off, but it's on a little bit of hinges so you could get a little bit of direction on there. So that's pretty sweet. And on the front, you got this little blaster right here, which you can move around on this wheel, but other than that, it doesn't like shoot anything or anything, just really for design. And then they have these two little missiles, which do shoot if you push down on them. 
and they shoot pretty far, so you gotta be careful of that. And then, if you go to the top, you can see there are some stickers on these tiles right here, which are on both sides. And then there's even a sticker on this part right here. And that is it for this vehicle. Pretty nice vehicle overall. Now let's go on to the final verdict. Overall, for a ship that only appears on screen for very, very brief moments, uh, I have to say that they really put their effort into this set and made it a great set. The two minifigures are very well done. Both are exclusive to this set and do not come in any other sets. Because the Tusken Raider, we've only gotten one iteration of that in LEGO. That was back in 2002, and they didn't even have a new head mold. And so this updated version, which is exclusive to the set so far for the head molding, is really, really, really well done. I love how it came out. Hopefully we'll get more in various sets because you're probably going to want to maybe build a little army of Tusken Raiders. Uh, hopefully they'll appear in the event calendar or something this year. And then the Skyhopper pilot is actually a pretty well done minifigure too. We haven't really seen a look of the Skyhopper pilots in any of the movies. I mean, Luke was a Skyhopper pilot, but we haven't seen his uniform, I think. So it's nice to get this kind of iteration. It's, it's like a derivative work of, you know, Star Wars. So it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but I, I like how he came out. He has a great torso print, great face print, and great helmet prints, which are all exclusive to the set and very well done. Uh, the only disappointing part for all the characters is that you do get this rat right here, which is presumably a womp rat. And womp rats, which do appear in Tatooine, they have, they do not look like that. So they should have probably put a new molding for that. And it's kind of disappointing that they didn't put a new molding. I guess I could kind of understand because then maybe it would have raised the price of this set. Then speaking of which, the vehicle is very good for a $25 price range. You get a pretty solid vehicle that has a unique design that's accurate to the movie. Some great pieces like these little windscreens right here. You get two of them in trans black, which is fantastic because it's a very usable piece and we've never gotten it in that color before. And they kind of have a compact design that fits the kind of design in the movie. So it's a great deal for $25. Maybe it would have been cool if they stuck another minifigure in there and if they went all out and put another Womp Rat. But for now, I'd give this set a B plus. Great value, great ship, and great minifigures. So that's it for now. Stay tuned for Friday and Saturday because I'm going to be putting some very exciting reviews out then. But for now, I'll see you guys later.